can do that. Hi, everybody. Hey, Shay Cutie here. Sorry about the messy hair. Oh, my kitty. I show y'all no matter what my hair looks like. But anyway, can you see Cutie here? And I decided while in between watching this video of Quentin Reviews, the end of Victorious, I'm in two hours, 55 minutes. I'm just telling y'all this because today I'm going to be doing random thoughts. One of the random thoughts, which isn't really that random since I've been watching, you know, this Victoria's video, I realized I don't even really hate Trina that much. Tell me, how many of y'all, just tell me in the description below, how many of y'all people actually like Trina from Victoria's? I don't like Tori. Tori is like my least favorite character and she's supposed to be in the main character. I don't care about Tori. Jade, I like to some degree, as long as she's not, one, being rude to Beck, and two, nearly trying to kill somebody. For some weird reason, they seem to be making that a joke on this show, that she might be a psycho killer. Which is really kind of creepy, for many ways. Robbie, I like him when he's musically engaged, or his romantic relationship with Kat. I know sometimes it can come off as a little weird, but sometimes they legit have cute moments. So I legit sometimes like it when Rob, when Robbie and Kat uh, have romantic moments. Beck and Jade are the worst. I just figured out that on the slap that Jade and Beck have a more wholesome relationship than the show. How the frick does that work? That makes no sense. How can they have a better relationship in a website that probably nobody is going to ever be able to see? Because obviously it's been a long time since Victoria's air. And there's no chance they will ever make a reboot. I know many people, I know many times Nickelodeon has, well maybe not Nickelodeon, but many people have kind of did this running joke of like, oh, all well, the classic Nickelodeon shows will come back. Let's be honest with ourselves. We know the only classic Nickelodeon show that has came back that probably might last a while is the iCarly revival. I was almost about to say reboot, but it's not really a reboot. Reboot is when you do the same characters in the same situation. But no, no, this is a revive. This is a revival because they're doing the characters, but they're all grown up. That's more of a revival than a reboot. But hey, I'm not going to make that argument. Sinjin, I I never knew what to think about him because he's just that one-off character who is given some personality, but he isn't given much personality. But you know, most of the times when I see him on Victorious, I actually kind of like him. I have noticed that all these random thoughts seem to be a Victorious, but I can't help it. Cat was mostly my always my favorite character whenever I would watch Victorious. I always loved Cat. I didn't care about Ariana Grande. I just liked Cat. No offense to any Ariana Grande fans. I actually like some of her songs. I just didn't care about her as the actor back then. And I don't really follow her songs all that much now. I've only listened to a few of her songs. But anyway, yeah. I just like Kat herself. And I actually did like Sam and Kat. And I was very upset when they only ended at like, what, 31 episodes? At least I think it was 31 episodes. It was either 31 or 32. I know it was around that number. I know it wasn't like a usual number. Like you would think 30 or 20 or 23 or 26 or something. No, it was like 31 or 32. I remember. It was a weird number. Beck, I like. But like he's so meh. He doesn't really have that much of a personality besides being a ladies man. Like seriously, every time in the show I just see a bunch of girls just following him and like. I mean, he is kind of good looking, but come on, girl. <laughs> you know, I really like Andre. I think he was my favorite boy character in the show. I think, yeah, yeah, I think he was my favorite boy character. It would have been Beck, but he wasn't given that much personality. But like Andre, he would be worried. He'd be a good friend. He's a musician. He's a songwriter. It's like this guy has almost the most personality out of anybody in the bunch. Also, I found it kind of funny with the th thing where he always has to take care of his grandma or explain things to his grandma. <laughs> uh. 
one thing I like about Trina is the fact that she tries so hard. Like, sure, she, apparently in this show, she's not supposed to have any talent. At least she's trying. While these other ones, they just acted like spoiled rich kids. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Um, one thing I like about Jade is her whole entire look. Let's see, what else? I never cared about Rex either. He was just this one-off puppet. So yeah, I never cared about Rex. Um, I think that's all I got for now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I got. The friend group doesn't really feel like a friend group whenever they're all together. Like, I mean, all of them, all of them together, including Jade, even though she doesn't consider them friends. But anyway, yeah, they never really feel like a friend group when they're all together individually. Yeah, they feel like friends. But like when they're all together, they just feel almost like a bunch of strangers. Sometimes they do feel like friends, but other times I don't even notice that much. I still don't get how in the website, sl the slap, Jade and Beck have a good relationship. Yeah, in the show, they have the worst relationship I've ever seen. And you actually kind of wish that Beck would get with Tori. I don't wish that anymore. I don't like Tori. So far, that's my random thoughts about Victorious. I will be totally honest with you. I was not a Victorious fan. I was an iCarly fan. I like iCarly way more. Now I bet you oh, so does that mean you never watched the show? No. I did watch some episodes, otherwise I wouldn't have known all these characters. And no, it is not because I watched the... And no, it is not just because I watched Quentin's Review first episode of Victorious or this one. No, I knew Victorious way before then because my cousin watches Victorious. In fact, she really likes Victorious. But I don't. I don't care about Victorious that much. Victorious is so mid to me. I don't know what to think about it. But I really do enjoy this. Anyway, that's my random thoughts about Victorious. Hope y'all have a pleasant day and I'll tell y'all if I want to make another and I'll um, show y'all another random thoughts video whenever it shall come. Bye.